I'm here at San Diego Comic-Con 2019 at the Hasbro booth. We are joined here with Mr. Tom DeSanto. How are you doing this afternoon, Mr. Tom? I am doing well. Happy Comic-Con 2019. It's my, uh, I don't know what, yeah, my first one was 96, so it's probably quadrupled in size since then, so the geeks have won this battle, uh, and I think we'll continue winning that war. Geeks have won indeed, indeed, indeed. You've done a lot of stuff in the Transformers universe, of course, and you've done some other stuff with comics. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, uh, so I own now about 40,000 comics. X-Men was a movie I wanted to make since I was about 10 and was lucky enough to uh, put that movie together, was a writer on that film, uh, produced it. Uh, so from the time I wrote the treatment till the time we were in theaters was about four years. Uh, so brought Wolverine to life and then uh, after that went after Transformers and got the rights for Transformers and we just released Bumblebee in December and got the franchise back on track and you know Travis Knight put the, the heart back in the machine. So that was the key. That is awesome. The key to the matrix of the Optimus Prime. Yes. The uh, leadership matrix. Yes. It's, uh, yeah. That, look, for all those kids in the 80s, Optimus Prime. And Peter Cullen is the voice of, you know, everyone's dad who wasn't necessarily at home. And, uh, you know, Peter is the heart and soul of that character. Mr. Cullen himself. You've got X-Men franchise. You have uh, worked with all the actors. You missed originally uh, with Brian Singer in the first film. Yes. The impact of all these X-Men and comic books now, so plethora with the Marvel, MCU, and all that. What was it like kind of kicking off that, you know, first phase of, you know, beginning of all that awesomeness? You know, it, it, was, uh, it was a challenge because comic books were seen as sort of campy back then. So it was like, you know, the, even the Tim Burton movies, you had... Jack Nicholson dancing to Prince music and poisoning shampoo. Not that that wasn't great, but it was, um, and we had a great team on that film, you know. Uh, and it is a team sport, you know, to, to have a comic book movie open in Auschwitz and give it that level of gravitas and that humanness. Uh, and of course, Hugh Jackman's breakout real first film. Uh, it's, it was a blessing all around. You've got all this stuff you've done with Transformers and X-Men. What's the overall message you like people to take from your work and just what it reflects in your own life, just in general? You know, it's funny because Optimus Prime and Professor X have a very similar philosophy. And oddly enough, Megatron and Magneto have a very similar philosophy. Uh, they're very Darwinistic. It's like, we're stronger than they are. We should dominate them. We should rule them. And Optimus Prime and Professor Xavier have always said... You know, it's about the commonality of spirit. And uh, I don't look at someone for their surface. I look at someone for their soul. Uh, and that's the great thing about the Autobots is, uh, you know, they might be a, you know, uh, different life form that we're completely unfamiliar with. But inside, they have that human soul. That is, wow. I could not say that better myself. You've got a lot of stuff you've done. Is there anything on the horizon you're looking at or anything you're getting ready to do here? Yeah, I'm doing an animated film, uh, working with some companies in China to uh, build bridges, you know, together. So we try and guarantee a uh, Star Trek future and not a um, Mad Max future, because I think that would be good for the kids we're leaving this planet to. Uh, and then I'm uh, starting a film uh, next year, smaller film, uh, but it's going to be based around nanotechnology and uh, the dangers of that when we start to put the machine into our body, you know, and where does that line drawn between man and machine when man starts to become machine. That is awesome. Mr. Tom DeSanto, it's a pleasure talking with you here. This is Owen with SciFiction.com coming to you live from San Diego Comic-Con signing off. If you enjoy this video and would like to contribute, go to patreon.com forward slash SciFiction where we will be giving away a Star Wars X-Wing Starfighter Lego set when we reach 50 patrons. So make sure you're subscribed so you can join in the discussion as we continue to cover all things sci-fi and beyond. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.